it's finally here. The Gigabyte GTX 970. It's a four gigabyte video card, supports up to four monitors at one time, three through DisplayPort, two over DVI, and an HDMI video out. This is the card I've been waiting for. I have three Dell IPS monitors, and I have a Samsung television in this room that I have an HDMI cable running over to. And this is finally something that'll properly support it. I'm going to get the box open here, and then later on we're going to be doing some reviews on this, as well as some benchmarks in triple screen gaming, and running this at uh, basically 3K. Let's get the box open. All right. No packing tape on here at all. Nothing to leave residue on the box or prevent me from getting to this. All right, so you can see the Gigabyte logo on the box here. Let's get this open. See, they don't play around. As soon as you get in here, you get access to the video card. Now this is a larger card than what I have in my system right now. And they have this heavy duty foam on here. Give you a couple of Molex to GPU power adapters. A quick start guide that is basically garbage. And that's it. So, kind of surprised there's no uh, DVI adapters or anything like that, but you don't really need much for this. So, open this up. Now, from what I've seen, this appears to be the best cooler available for the GTX 970. And I'll take off this plastic. Everyone likes likes this. Right. Now, it does require an 8-pin power adapter. That's one of the reasons they give you these adapters here. Because it's one 6-pin and then one 8-pin. Not a lot of uh, power supplies have the 8-pin. So, and right here, under these little caps, that's for running SLI. And they have the covers over top of the ports here. So, HDMI and three display ports, two dual link DVI ports, and they put it over the PCI Express. This has three fans and a heatsink assembly that basically is meant to uh, handle a very, very hefty video card, which really this doesn't need. This is actually one of the coolest performing NVIDIA cards in a long time. And on the back here they have this nice cover to cover the back of the main board on here. I wanted to get a measurement of the video card because it's definitely larger than my 7950 that I have right now. It is close to a foot long, so you definitely want to make sure that you take measurements inside your case before you order one of these. Uh, it looks like it's at just over 11 and a half inches, so make sure you have the proper clearance in there. Now, unlike some of the other 970s that I've seen, this only takes up two slots. Now, I've seen some of the cards where they have the fan assembly rising up, covering that third slot, but it only takes up two in the back, so it's kind of a little bit disingenuous. Um, that's one of the reasons I ordered the Gigabyte card. The other thing is, because I have four monitors, three of which are DisplayPort, I would prefer to use DisplayPort. Um, DVI cables are a lot heavier and a lot more, uh, a lot more, uh, take up a lot more space, so I wanted to make sure that a card had three DisplayPort plus if you look at the GTX 970 specifications, they call for three display ports, one DVI, and one HDMI. This actually gives you that, and then an additional DVI port. So this is actually the only car that I've seen that actually does that. So that was one of the big reasons. Plus, I have a Gigabyte card right now, and the cooling and everything else on that card has been great. I've been over overclock it about 20 to 30 percent uh, stable. So. I'm expecting to do pretty similar with this. Uh, you should expect about 85 to 90 percent of the performance of a 980 with this car. So that's within the room of overclocking. So if you're running a stock 980 and I overclock my 970, chances are I'm going to be, you know, either overtaking your car or at least matching it performance. So that is the 970. I'm going to go ahead and install this on my PC, and we'll put this in another video. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit us on NancyGuys.com.